This is Defender Radio. I'm Michael Howie, and this is Defender Radio, the podcast for wildlife advocates and animal lovers, brought to you by the Fur Bears. This week, I've got a special episode for you. I'm going to tell you about the Refuse the Goose campaign we've launched, which is targeting Canada Goose for their ongoing use of coyote fur. If you just want to get straight to signing the petition and sharing with your friends and family, head to thefurbears.com slash refuse the goose. For those of you who aren't familiar with Canada Goose and Coyote Fur, let's start at the beginning. And don't worry, I won't be using any graphic language. Canada Goose is a popular outerwear company in Canada that was purchased by an American investment firm several years ago. Canada Goose is trying to expand into the United States and the greater international market. Many of their products are filled with goose down, and some have coyote fur trim. Goose down is also cruel, but not the focus of our petition or the work at the fur bears. Coyote fur is always taken from animals in the wild. They are caught with leg hole traps, cona bears, or snares. These traps are designed to hold animals against their will until a trapper returns or kill them. Ultimately, animals suffer as traps are inanimate objects that cannot be humane. Animals will fight to get away and injure themselves in the process. The killing traps don't always target as designed, and animals can be left suffering for days. There are no humane traps, and there are no good deaths for animals killed for their fur. Canada Goose does not trap themselves, but buys pelts from trappers through auctions. The company has spent a great deal of time and money trying to market the use of fur as sustainable, part of Canadian culture, or saying that trapping coyotes is necessary. The short truth is they're wrong. Lethal management of coyotes results in greater conflict in areas with livestock and doesn't address problems in other locations. Canadians on the whole are compassionate people who choose not to use cruel traps to catch wildlife. And an endless cycle of killing isn't sustainable, even if there's a possibility of it being renewable. For years, advocates have asked Canada Goose to ditch the fur. Protests, letters, and media campaigns asking them to change have yielded no results. Canada Goose CEO Danny Reese has made it clear that the Canada Goose brand includes coyote fur and that no amount of protest will change that. So let's tell him what that means. We won't be purchasing any products from the Canada Goose brand. Our lifetime of purchases will go directly to companies who compete with Canada Goose and have fur-free policies. Our recommendations to friends and family will go to companies who compete with Canada Goose and have fur-free policies. And we will continue to tell everyone we know why the Canada Goose brand should never be supported with a purchase. Our goal at the Fur Bears is to have at least 5,000 compassionate Canadians tell Danny Reese and Canada Goose that we're going to spend our money with his competitors with every outerwear purchase we make, and that no amount of marketing will change our minds. The only ones who need coyote fur are coyotes. Let's make fur history and refuse the goose. I'm personally very proud to wear a vegan parka from Woolly Outerwear, I also have a raincoat from Mech that has no animal products, and many other options are available. We recommend people check out the Fur Free Retailer Program, which is part of the Fur Free Alliance, of which we're a member. The link to that can be found in this week's show notes. If you'd like to sign the petition and send a letter to Canada Goose and help us reach our goal of 5,000 individuals saying they will refuse the goose, visit thefurbears.com slash refuse the goose. More information about trapping, coyotes, coexistence, and other subjects can also be found at thefurbears.com. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this important message, and thank you for signing the letter and helping us make fur history. Until next time, I'm Michael Howie for Defender Radio, reminding you to stay informed and stay strong. Stay strong.